martial arts fight fans. Our main event of the evening is for the WEC World Heavyweight title. Introducing in the WEC cage first on my right. He's trained in jiu-jitsu. He is a member of the Dubushi fight team. Six feet two inches tall, 280 pounds. He fights and trains locally out of Visalia, California. Please welcome the challenger, James Navarro. I'm Ron Waterman, fighting out of Greeley, Colorado. I currently fight for Team Impact, and I'm represented by the greatest manager ever, Phyllis Lee. Um, I'm currently a minister with Team Impact Ministries, and uh, I give credit, I give all the credit for my fighting abilities and for all my successes to my ultimate king, and that's Jesus Christ, and that's, uh, that's who I give all my credit to. And introducing his opponent. He is a very skilled wrestler, a member of Team Impact. He is a two-time Pride Japan veteran and a UFC veteran. He is also an ordained minister and leader of Team Impact. Six feet two inches tall, a ripped. 260 pounds. He's amassed an MMA record of 15 wins, one loss. Please welcome from Greeley, Colorado, Ron H2O Waterman. Well, the crab boos, they're supporting their guy the from Vasilia. What the heck is that about? <laughs> Hey, hometown crowd. Uh, that's true. You Main event, you play. know. So here they come, the two big boys, ready to go. Ron Waterman, we mentioned it. He's really ready to make MMA his career again. He did it for a while, broke away into the pro wrestling, but now he's ready to go. He is a strong, strong fighter. Scott Adams, who is the promoter of this event, former UFC fighter, rolled with him and said he could not believe how strong he is. Let's see how strong he is well, against a so. very big no, guy. Navarro is not, not, not afraid to start mixing it up. Open nope. right up with them. Yep, Navarro is, oh boy, Navarro is right now in the, almost a neck crank, right from the beginning. Yeah, got a, got a decent half guard in there. And now really uh, buried this, himself deep in that half guard, which makes it hard to flatten him or do anything with him. This is the tough part. You know, we mentioned Scott Adams, a very good wrestler, Division One wrestler. He could not believe how strong Ron Waterman is and his technique. He just says mm. he is absolutely legit. And right now, James Navarez is finding that out very quickly. Yeah. You just look at his base. It's just so strong. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. What I've seen James Navarez working for is he's really trying to dig. He's going to try to sneak out the side there. And maybe even take Ron's back or roll Ron. It's going to be hard to roll Ron with a cage there. But look at him trying to sneak out the side. You see yep, what I'm talking about? Yep, I see it. I see it. The key to that, he's got the underhooks. He's got his body shrimped and on the side. And he can kind of sneak his butt out the side now. That's the key. If he lets Waterman flatten him out, he's going to be in deep trouble. He... What, what, what are they doing here? Josh Rosenthal stopping for a minute. Was there a foul? I don't know. Was there a foul? I don't know. Good question. It looks like, I'm not sure, Josh Rosenthal just stopped it for a second. It looks like there's a foul of some kind. A knee? Okay, they're going to say it knee was kneeing down they're taking a point away from Waterman. So I think. Kneeing a down opponent is what it, what it was. So Josh Rosenthal, looks like they took a point away. Inverted knee. But illegal. Rules are rules. That's uh, that's right. Josh Rosenthal just doing his job holding up the rules. So let's see the stand-up. Navarro's looked like he's got some pretty quick yeah. hands. I think Navarro wants to strike with him, and then when he gets on the bottom, try to submit him. I don't yeah. think Navarro is really going to be trying too hard to take him down. Yeah, um, that that time Navarro, or I'm sorry, yeah, Waterman looks wanted to throw him, but Navarro's willing to. He's willing to fall down into the. See, 
If he can get his half guard, he's willing to fall down. Oh, oh boy. That's no good. You, you don't want to be here. You don't want to be here with Ron Waterman. Uh -oh. I'm telling you right now. With he's the arm crossed like that. Oh, no. man. Waterman could be pounding the crap out of him. Oh. I tell you what, though, Navarez, quick. Yeah. That, quick. And, that's, and really, that is a lot of, that's a lot of what jiu-jitsu is about. Turning, getting back around, doing what you can again. Now look, I'm setting up again with the underhook on the left hand, trying to shrimp and turn his body so he can get his butt out. Oh, that's a right hand there. He just he can't shrimp enough right now. He's a little bit flattened, and that's why Waterman's able to punch him like that. Yeah. You know, the other interesting part, you know, Waterman, we mentioned, his last fight was in pride. You know, maybe that's why he landed those knees. I mean, you got to remember where you're at. I know some fighters that have fought in pride that come over to the States, they remember you can't knee a downed opponent. Yeah, and some fighters just lose it when they get in the ring. Although I don't think that's the case. No, I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he looks like he's very much in control. It was one of those things that probably instinct takes over. You want to knee the guy, but once again, once he's down, you cannot knee a down opponent. Navarez is really he's getting flattened pretty pretty well here, and that's not good for him. And, and the other tough part for Navarez right now, I mean, you're, you got, you have all that weight on you. That takes its toll in the course of a fight. It sure does, and it, and it can smother you. It can make it hard to breathe. Make it hard to get air in your mouth. It can make your chest, you know, ten times as heavy. Yep. Uh, he's fighting hard to get out of that submission. Yeah, he really is. Right now. And, and, if, and if Waterman's smart, and I think he is, he's really putting his weight heavy on him. He's making himself heavy. Right. You can make yourself light, and you can make yourself heavy in that position. You drive your hips down. You drive into him. You drive your shoulder into his into his jaw. He's going he's gonna to feel you. You stay on your knees. You stay up a little bit higher, it's just not going to be the same kind of pressure. Ron Waterman, James Navarez, first round of the big fellas going after it here at the Palace Casino. Beautiful night. I tell you what, it was so hot, but it's really been a nice, comfortable evening oh, it's here. Gorgeous right now. Gorgeous. Great for the fighters. And right now, the main event for the WEC World Super Heavyweight Championship. Both guys just working for position. Josh Rosenthal might stand him up this again here. stand up in a minute. Just like we said in the other fights, rightly so. And that's the thing, you know, Waterman understands the ground game of Navarez. Yeah. And so he's not, you know, going full out like we've seen him in the past. Because, you know, Navarez can do it. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of skill, no well, doubt about it. And you see why Navarez cannot scoot out the, the side now. Like we were talking earlier, his arm is an underhook. That means... Look what Waterman does. He puts the pressure down. He can't get out. You see, that's the, that's the importance of, of Navarre's getting the underhook he had the first couple times he was in the half guard. First round winding down, Ron Waterman. James Navarez. Up, oh, up, oh, there he is. Half past the side control with the. Is there enough time for Waterman Starfall. to capitalize here? I don't know if he'll submit from here, but he definitely Boy. good job working on that position. It ain't and easy to pass that half guard. I can no, look at it and tell you that's a good half guard. That is a good half guard. Now he gives him his back, and there's the end of the first round. Wow. Yeah. Just in time for Navarez. Yeah, I, and I'll tell you something. I do a little bit of the whole fight. Even if he's not always striking, you're just going to get tired. You, don't, you can't move like a little guy. We start the third round. Navarez has tried to land that right hand for two rounds. Can he land it this time around? It's just missed with that right hand. Every time he tries to shoot that right, yeah. he's been getting shot in by Waterman. He's a little sloppy with that one. Yeah, I think he wanted to kind of surprise him and not shoot the right this the right hand. He yeah. went for that wild left hook. Right hand landed by Waterman. Back in the clinch. Ooh, Waterman with a knee there. Knee the that face. works. Knee answered by Navarez. Both guys working for position. Single leg takedown by Waterman. Right back where we've seen most of the fight. The defense isn't there. James Navar Navar Navarez gets to his knees. The fence there kind of kept him pinned. Oh, look at him oh, go for the leg lock. Leg lock there. How about that? Nope. They couldn't no. get it, though. No, sir. Waterman said, no way. I've seen that before. And once again, just continues to pound on the head. They could stop the fight if, if Navarez doesn't go for something here. He's looking He's for it again. again. Uh, that's a good, good try. The defense really, here's where the defense is really playing in a Waterman's favor. Yeah, no doubt about it. Smart veteran fighter. 
knows where he wants to take this fight, puts it Look, against the cage, remember, and here he goes we said again. about how hard is he going to defend? Well, I'll tell you, it's hard to pin it from there. But you would say, how hard is he going to defend from here? Because it's this is the sign of fatigue to me. Waterman just wants to... Yeah, he's going to try that arm lock again, it looked like, but the, yeah, fence, just is just gonna, the fence is really going to Can't do anything there. Now the fence works for Navarro's uh, favor, at least to a degree. Yeah. And uh, right now, Waterman just landed some left hooks, starting to get those hands free for the first time in this fight. Like clearing the arm again. I don't know if he's just clearing it. It looks like he's just trying to clear it, really, frankly. That now what? Yes. That, here you go. Waterman holding the left arm of Navarez. Oh, yeah. and, and, and Waterman's tired. Yeah. Well, you can see it in the, in the crispness of his shots. Yep, no punches. doubt about it. What are we doing Back here? Up. Josh Rosenthal's going to stop it. No, oh, they stopped it. They did. They stopped it. Navarez wasn't offensive-minded enough, according to Josh Rosenthal, so he will stop the fight. And I, I'll tell you something, I like that. Navarez wasn't getting shots that were really going to hurt him and damage him. That, in, in the sense that Ladies and gentlemen, at 2.31 in the third round, he keeps eating shots. on a referee stoppage, the winner, If you don't put up a defense, fight's H2 over. He really wasn't put up a defense. Yeah, I think the only thing I would have liked to see in that instance